I probably don't need to tell you why Git is so important for us developers, but just in case you don't know or you are new to developing programs and you want to know a little bit more about Git, let me give you a simple refresher. Git, whether you use it on GitHub or any other page, is very important for us developers because we want to use it to save our progress when, let's say, for example, we work on a big project. Here on the left, these are mostly all of my projects and I have a couple more and for the most part, I'm working on my cakes framework which is my tower defense game and as a developer we want to commit and push as often as we can just to make sure that our progress is saved and we don't run the risk of losing our data if we made breaking changes but we can also use git in many other situations for example we want to test out a simple feature but it might cause issues with other systems in our game so we make a commit beforehand and then we test out the feature if the feature doesn't work as expected or breaks the game we can roll back to make sure that everything is still working and there's many other use cases for git but oftentimes it is very difficult as a new developer to get into git because it's well, weird. You have to interface with the command line or maybe you use some UI and then it tells you some weird error messages that you have no idea how to solve. And at least for me, in the very beginning, that was very confusing and I always tried to avoid Git even though I really liked the idea. However, there's multiple sources that can help you learn to use Git and even more efficiently that are not only animated but also show you with graphs how to use it. And the first one I want to talk about is a website called Oh My Git. HTTPS ohmygit.org. This is a mostly animated game that you can download for free. You don't have to pay anything. It works on Linux, Mac and Windows and you can use it to learn Git interactively with real repositories, which can be very handy if you don't know what it means to commit, maybe change a branch or even create something new that you have never done before. You're effectively learning Git by dragging different cards onto an already existing tree or you create the tree yourself and those cards do certain things to your character and you can see the change visually represented in the game which makes it a very interactive learning experience so you merge it merged those two together and then it merged those two together and then you can't merge anymore i wonder if he what happens if he tries merge then again now if this is a little bit too much for you because the game is too animated or maybe the cards don't make sense to you very much i have another website that helps you learn git which i used actually in the past and i like that one a little bit more than the first because i used it myself to learn git and after i've used that website I had no more questions because it was very simple. The website I'm talking about is called learngitbranching.js.org. This is actually a, I think, browser game or something where it gives you tasks to complete in different tutorials. You can see here I've already completed the first task on stream. I've actually completed all of the tasks in the past uh, on a different computer. It starts very well. You can click on a task and then it gives you a very simple explanation of let's say for example here what a commit is. And then after you have read through this you are then brought to a demonstration meaning you have to solve a problem in order to continue and then it animates you exactly what you need to do in order to complete the demonstration now that that is done it asks you to do it yourself and the cool thing about this is you could see it in the bottom left here you have to interface with this purely with the console goal to reach it wants you to do two commits so you do git commit boom then you have another git commit Boom, and once you're done with that, it tells you, very nice, good job, and then you can move on to the next task. And it visualizes the steps that you take along the way, while at the same time giving you explanations and a goal to reach for each level, which is really cool. Great job, confirm. And in my opinion, that is the best way to learn Git, because Git is a very console-heavy interface oftentimes the applications that you are using abstract this away from you but unfortunately at the same time they also abstract power away from you when you have an error message you're left very confused like what am i supposed to do now i click the commit button and i click the push button and nothing happened it didn't work 
can't push refs or something. Weird error message. The error messages get much easier to understand when you learn how to use it with the command line. And I can only recommend it. It does have a learning curve to it like everything in software development, but I think it's worth a try. So yeah, I can understand if you are new to programming, let's say, and you are new in a job and you are struggling to learn everything there is and maybe you feel a little bit overwhelmed. At least I did in the very beginning. I can still remember that. And this stuff really helped me out to grow not only as a developer, but also as a tool guy, let's say, right? You have different tools at your disposal and all of them do a certain task that help you write programs or games, whatever you want to do. Anyways, just wanted to share. Maybe this helps someone out there and I'll see you all next time. Peace.